close your eyes and direct your attention to the breath. Keep it in that direction. That's where the sound of the crows, the sound of the hummingbirds, the noise off in the distance or whatever. Just let that go right through. Don't direct your mind there. It's important you have a clear idea of where to pay attention. When the Buddha talks about being alert, it's not just being alert to everything that's happening in the present moment. You specifically want to be alert to what you're doing and the results that you're getting from what you're doing. So right now you're trying to focus on the breath, so make sure you are alert to the breath and alert to the mind that's trying to be focused. Don't let anything else get in the way. Just be with the breath all the way in, all the way out. This factor of direction is important. There's a passage where the Buddha talks about three types of blessings in your life. One is that you're born in a civilized country, and two, you've made merit in the past. And those are things that basically come from your past actions. And then the third is that you have directed yourself pr properly. You're properly self-directed. In other words, you make up your mind now that you've got all the advantages that come from having merit in the past and living in a civilized country. Where are you going to do with that? Where do you want your life to go? The direction is up to you. Otherwise, uh, you just follow the stream of whatever. And who knows where those streams are coming from? Because in addition to past merit, you've also probably got some, some past bad actions, and who knows which stream will push you in which direction. And if you're just sitting there passively accepting whatever's coming along, who knows where the stream is going to push you. But if you make up your mind, I've got this merit in the past, I want to use it in the right direction. Okay, you're taking a fund that you've created from the past, and you're making good use of it. Because, as the Buddha said, the universe as a, as a whole doesn't have any particular purpose. It just keeps going around and around and around. It's up to you to give your life purpose and to find purpose in this universe. So give yourself a good purpose. Think about what it would be to find a happiness that doesn't have any, any drawbacks, doesn't cause harm to anybody at all. That way you find your happiness, you don't get in the way of anybody else's happiness. That's a good goal. If you direct yourself in that direction, okay, then direct your thoughts to the breath right now. Because it's in developing these qualities of mind, like mindfulness, concentration, alertness, that that true and harmless happiness can be found. So ask yourself as you go through the day, what direction am I going in? For too many people, life is like brownie in motion. You know, you've seen those motes of dust in the air that just get bounced around. And if you were to draw a map of where they, a particular dust moat had gone in the course of the day, it would be little squiggles all over the place. Well, you don't want your life to be little squiggles. You want your life to go straight in a good direction. And the choice is up to you. You've got the benefits of having merit done in the past here, living in a civilized country, i.e. one where the Dharma is taught. So try to make the most of that. Give your mind the direction. Give your life the direction that would be good for you and for everybody else around you, i.e. happiness that harms no one. And this is how it's done. <laughs>